Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm Jeffrey and I'm going to be starting a new series where I'm going to be creating my digital mind from scratch in the note taking app Obsidian. Now this series is going to be for those who want to see something being built from the beginning, who want to get a sneak peek beyond, behind the curtain of how I think, learn a few things along the way as well as getting a beginner's perspective to the note taking app Obsidian itself. Now those of you who have seen previous videos of mine, you know that I use Rome Research quite extensively. So why did I choose to go ahead and use Obsidian for this project of creating a digital mind or a second brain? Well, there's a few reasons. Well, number one is I have a lot of notes and information in Rome. I've attempted to create something like this a few times and it's just right now pretty messy and cleaning it up is quite daunting. So I thought if I start out with a blank slate in Obsidian, then that would just be a much neater and nicer way to uh, kickstart this whole process. Also, I travel quite a bit for work and don't have access to the internet all the time. So Obsidian has some good mobile and offline support. So that might help me be more productive in those times when I would be otherwise uh, out of connection. The third reason is from everything that I've seen, I like the graph visualization of Obsidian a lot more than the one that's in Rome Research. I think it shows how your notes connect together a lot better in a lot more meaningful way that you can actually use. So I'm interested to play around with that a bit. Now also because I'm only going to be using Obsidian for my digital mind, I don't need to worry about all the other types of notes and pages that I have in Rome interfering. So it's just going to be a pure graph of all of my permanent notes that I have created. So I'm excited to see what that's going to look like. And honestly, I just like using uh, new tools, learning new tools. So this project focus of creating a digital mind would be a really good way to learn how to use the application. So join me in the next episode where I'm going to be setting up Obsidian for the first time to use with my digital mind and we will go from there. So I'll see you all next time.